I'm back. Oh my God, you guys, it's been so long. I got these new slippers. I actually got so many new clothes that I wanna show you guys um, because they're from like this boutique. I wanted to vlog, which is crazy because I have not stopped, mo stopped moving, yeah, all day long. And I thought maybe I would just chill out tonight. But I just wanted to keep talking, so here I am. It's Tuesday. Oh, hang on. Hey, girl. Hey, what's good? What you doing? Sorry. Anyway, so, um, I forget what I was saying. So, I got back from the Jersey Shore last, or this morning. I drove home from the beach this morning. I should sit up. I drove home from the beach this morning. And um, now I have a free night. It ended up being great because I went to Stride and I just got back and I'm going to make tacos and I can vlog my night. So I'm going to make tacos tonight. Um, I have all those new clothes I want to show you guys. My life is like all over the place because nothing is unpacked. So my room is like a disaster. I was moving i have so many clothes to donate so i'm do donating those tomorrow i have an eyebrow wax tomorrow and an eye doctor's appointment tomorrow and then i'm going to donate those clothes and i just have work to get done but i need to unpack everything like my car it looks like i moved home from college honestly so i need to like unpack everything i had so many boxes today and yeah and the day got away from me just because like my mom came over for a little bit so the day just like really got away from me today but i'm back to claim my day and i've been go 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 all day but i guess i don't want to stop so i'm going to keep the momentum going so it's 7 45 i got back from the studio like literally five minutes ago so i am going to make tacos and we're just gonna have a night together. I also wanna know if anyone has drank Yerba Mate tea, Yerba Mite, I don't really know how to say it. Let me know if anyone has drank that. I've been on a huge um, Huberman Lab podcast kick and he drinks this, so I'm curious about it. And this is also the first night that I've been alone in months because at the Shore House, I always had either my parents down there or I lived with Katie, which is one of my good friends, and she was always there, or someone was always at the house, or like, um, someone was just always there, like I was never alone. So this is the first night that I'm alone in months, and I don't really know what to do with myself. So I will vlog, and I'm gonna call Lindsay back. Um, Lindsay lives in Los Angeles now, so I don't see her as much as I do, so I'm gonna call her, and we're gonna catch up tonight. So that'll be good, but I'm getting hungry. So let's start cooking dinner. Oh, and another thing that I bring this up because of Huberman Lap is I don't, like I've, I'm going like 30 days of no alcohol. I would love to like pour a glass of something tonight in a wine glass, but I don't know much of what I have. Hello. Told you I'd call you back. Oh. I think I've given you every answer and you haven't liked any of them. I know. I found this tea that I got a long time ago. It says it's fine by December 15th, 2023. So it's kind of scary. Hey, tacos is like the easiest, I'll put you under here. Tacos is like the easiest dinner of all time. And it is so delicious. You can never go wrong with tacos and it's foolproof. The good thing also about tacos is that they cook so quick, like you can be eating in 15 minutes. Another thing about cooking tacos, this is like me, just like making my case of why everyone should make tacos. Another reason I like tacos is because I don't really like cooking meat freaks me out like I don't really like cooking chicken it's really just like chicken like especially um like steaks I can cook but chicken and stuff like that I don't love but with tacos this meat is easy to cook and you can see when the color turns so you know that you're always getting cooked meat so I put in beans and I use this McCormick 
taco seasoning. So tomorrow I'm so excited because I'm putting away all my stuff tomorrow. I'm like moving back into my apartment tomorrow, which is nice. I was only here like a couple of times this summer. It's so nice to be home and have my stuff and have my space and like my tea kettles right there. I'm gonna wake up and make a coffee tomorrow. I'm gonna get Starbucks tomorrow. Um, the shore doesn't have, star like where I stay doesn't have Starbucks. I'm gonna add water to this because I like juice meat. Um, the shore doesn't have Starbucks um, and the closest one is like, it's like an hour round trip which just isn't worth it for Starbucks. So I'm so excited to go get Starbucks on my errands tomorrow. I'm getting my eyebrows waxed, I'm getting the eye doctor. I wanna stop at Home Goods and get like candles and stuff. So I'm just so excited to do like home stuff and just be like cheesy and corny and basic, whatever. I was just at the studio. It was so nice to be there. Um, I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but I always just get in my own head and like I always just feel anxiety when I'm not somewhere for a long time. So it was just so nice to be at the studio again and kind of have that anxiety like go away. I don't know, it really started like with the pandemic. Like I just started getting like a lot of social anxiety about situations and crazy enough, I even feel it at my own business. So anyway, I have another good reason about tacos is that it makes so much that you get leftovers. So I'm gonna have a taco salad, um, I think on Thursday, I'm gonna do a taco salad. I've been back into salmon bowls, which is nice. And I think I'm gonna put on the morning toast while I eat dinner. Oh, you know what else I started? I started selling the OC on Netflix. So stupid, I'm like loving it at the same time. I don't really like um, selling Sunset. I thought it was stupid. But I feel the same way about selling OC. I just feel like it's so stupid. But you know me, I love reality TV. But, oh, which I could talk forever about Housewives. Um, I wanna show you this hack that I saw Lauren Geraldo do for her tacos and it's just like life changing. I actually have two taco hacks. I guess I'm just super passionate about tacos. The first hack is to double wrap your tacos. Hard shell and soft shell. It keeps the hard shell in place and it just relieves a lot of the stress that hard shell tacos feel. Because like, let's face it, they have like a pretty hefty job. Like they have to keep the whole taco assembled. That is kind of hard to do for them sometimes. And like to no fault of their own, we are all just trying our best at the end of the day and they do the best that they can. So one of the ways that I like to keep my tacos in place is by double wrapping my tacos. And I first saw this at a um, brewery actually that I really like. They have really good tacos and they double wrap their tacos. And that's my sister. Hey girl. Hello. You're done work? Yeah. Woohoo! Powder coated and it's white and it's perfect. It's gonna look so cool. That's gonna look so good. I know. And I found it for super cheap. How? Some guy's parting out his truck because his motor blew up and he doesn't want to fix it. And so he's parting it out. And I was like, yo, I'll take the bumper. He's like, cool. Couple hundred bucks. I was like, fucking sold. Hell yeah, dude. And then he tried to tell me, he's like, oh, well, some guy already came to like pick up my transmission. He saw the bumper, so he wanted to take it. Uh, I hope you know that I just turned down a $500 offer for it. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'm um, up to go see you tonight at seven. All right, I literally just finished this masterpiece of a taco. Okay, we're gonna go eat your masterpiece of a taco. You know what? I think I will. All right, enjoy. All right, and let me know. All right, I will. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. Tell my sister. But anyway, um, I was trying to like show it while I was on the phone with her. She was talking about, my sister and I are so different. Like you guys would be shocked. 
if you know how different we were. <laughs> she um, was telling me about, she like fixes trucks on the side and then, I don't know if she sells them, but she does stuff with trucks for fun. Anyway, we could not be more different. Anyway, while she was telling me about the truck, I was trying to show you guys um, the Lauren Giraldo hack, which is you put your sour cream inside your taco so that every bite has sour cream. And it furthermore holds your taco together. So you have the double wrap. And the sour cream. And then when you're all done, you have this gorgeous double wrapped taco. Gorge. And it's just easier. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this and watch the morning toast. So I made some tea, my tacos were amazing. And because I'm like not on TikTok, I just don't know of so many like trends. But Lindsay just taught me that it's sweet o'clock. And that it is. I don't know, I guess that's a thing the kids say these days. So I'm gonna have these strawberries. And I bought chocolate literally for this reason. I knew I would want to dip strawberries and chocolate together. And then, wait, something else that I like need to show you guys. I need to show you guys my honey. So I bought this at Whole Foods. It's just this local raw and unfiltered hive honey. And it's from like a local farm. But it is so hard, like you can't squeeze it. Maybe it's just because it's raw and unfiltered. But I have to dip in like a little small teaspoon to get my honey out. I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm also the only one that eats this honey, so don't think that was really gross what I just did. I mean, I guess it is, but it's like literally just me. Anyway. This honey is so good, but it's just weird because I can't squeeze it. Like I have this clover honey, which like you can like squeeze. You see, see how it's moving? This is like hard as a rock. Like I could hit someone with this and they would have like a concussion. It is so good. I made a salmon bowl with it today and I marinated the cucumbers with rice vinegar and red chili flakes and honey and it was so good. This is living. You guys don't even know how much I miss just nights like this and like just being home. Mm. Like literally I'm wine and dining myself. Chocolate covered strawberries. Tea. And I'm putting on the morning toast. Welcome back to the morning toast. Happy Tuesday. That feels like a Monday because it's Tuesday after a long weekend. Hope everyone had an amazing laborist day weekend. But no. we don't need to compare. We don't need no, to. No, I agree. We are women who do not compare other women ever. We are women who support each other's holiday weekends, no matter we what. We support each other's endeavors. Always. I got tan, which is just it's an incomparable feeling to be tan. Even if it's I guess my lips are like literal raisins, they're so chapped right now and sunburned camera does not do well in low light so i got so tired and i fell asleep watching nail videos like how to do your nails and then i woke up at like 11 and now i have like a second burst of energy we just brought in my bags from the car it's literally like almost 1 a.m we brought in all my bags from the car i use these big ziploc bags and they're like amazing i have another one here that i need to move onto my um to the ground out there but i wanted to show you what i got whole wise from that i was talking about earlier and i also want to show you the shoes that i got because i got so many shoes this lighting is like not really the best i should face the other way but it's just like kind of weird lighting in my room anyway so this was sent to me story sends me so much stuff and i'm like so grateful i love their clothes so they sent me these shorts today really cute I'm excited to lounge in these this is gonna be cute and then um, I bought a lot of clothes from 
these three boutiques are the sighting is like just so atrocious but it's just gonna have to do I just really like this boutique because the clothes that they sell are just really cute clothes and I feel like now the trend is like trendy low-rise streetwear and like the girls that can pull that off they look so good but it's just not me and I just think that's like important is England I just think it's important to dress for how you feel confident and what you like regardless of like the trends and like what is in right now because trends go so fast and I don't always love the trends so um I just buy clothes that I like regardless of if they're in trend or not because the best trend is when you feel confident in your clothes so none of these clothes are trendy I'd say but I feel like they're all cute they're all girly they're all pretty clothes and I really like them so let me show you guys what I got well first I got these slippers which I already showed you but I didn't get this from these three I got this from these from Revolve. I'll try and like everything that I'm showing you guys. I got these black denim shorts. Um, I tried them on and I got a size medium, but I definitely could have gotten a small, but I really like the length in the back and the front. And then the sides are like a little bit shorter. So it looks like short shorts, but um, like you're covered, which I like that a lot. So love those. Um, I just got this basic white top which kind of feels like cheap material but i tried it on and it's really comfy i just needed to get like um nippy covers i have some but they're just old so i need to get new ones i'm just gonna put get those on like amazon instead of revolve um then i they have like really great jackets like every time i have this one jacket from them and every time i wear it everyone is like where did you get that um, actually three jackets and every time I wear it people love it so they always have really cute jackets so I just got this brown jacket and it's cropped and it is so soft and it's really 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 cute I think I'm just gonna like live in this in the fall um, I just love their jacket it's really cute then I got this shirt which definitely is like I feel like so southern and just like so like Alabama Southern Belle but um I got it in two colors just because I really like the neckline on it and I tried it on today it's definitely like a little loose like they didn't have an excess an extra small um so I got it in a small and I would have gotten a small anyway but having tried it on I think I should have gotten an extra small but they didn't have it so I'm just gonna like tuck it in but it's just really cute and it's this like high neckline that like crosses so you wear it like low and it's off the shoulder. It's really cute. It's definitely, like I said, like not trendy, quote unquote. But for me, I felt really pretty in it. Very feminine and that is the best. So I got it in that tan color and in black. Finally, I got these jeans. Oh, not finally, I got shoes too. And I'll show you my shoes in a minute. Um, but I also got these jeans and I'm obsessed with these jeans. Um, I got them in, these are, all, were also like not expensive. They have really good jeans on their website. I think these were like $60 for these jeans. It says 90s vintage loose fit, but it's like nice and tight, like up top, like thighs. Um, it fits my hips and my butt, but then it gets nice and loose. These just like fit really well. I think I want to try them on tomorrow. For you guys but i just think that they are so cute they're ripped and then at the bottom they're ripped even more so i really really like these jeans and i'm so excited to wear them they're a little long so i got a bunch of like heels and stuff that i'm excited to wear them with okay so that's what i got from the boutique and then i also got these cowboy boots i think they are so cute they have um like this design on them you can kind of see it in this lighting but i got these cowboy boots they had so many on the website and i thought they were all so cute so i got these and i'm so excited to wear this i think with like um those black cropped or those black denim shorts that i got 
with this and like that top could be really cute like i just love these like neutral cowboy boots um i got these clogs um i know these are always like sold out so i just got fake ones on amazon and these even have like um padding like wool inside of them for clogs i just feel like i'm just gonna like live in these this fall just to, like slip on like normally in the winter i normally wear those these uggs in the winter time um but these are sometimes just a little too much then i got these acrylic heels i've been seeing these everywhere i got these on i can't remember if i got these on amazon or on revolve i think revolve they're schultz i don't know if that means anything um but i've been loving the look of acrylic heels lately it just it's good for like height i feel like it's just like replacing the nude heel and i really like it i also just got these nude flip-flops that are healed and i feel like these are gonna be so cute with those jeans that i just showed you they're just like a good transition from like summer to fall shoe so i love that i can't wait to wear those and then I bought these black Converse. Um, I have white Converse that I love. I just have to unpack them. But yeah, I love these. And then it's actually so funny, but I, when I moved in here, I threw away so much, not threw away, I donated so much stuff. And one thing that I donated were these black Vans. And I was like, I haven't worn them in years. And then literally like, Three months later, I started seeing girls wear them, and I'm like, I love the look of those vans, especially with um, jeans and, like, the ones that I just got. Like, those jeans with, like, these shoes would just be so cute. So, I bought another pair, even though I literally just donated them, but it's fine. That's everything that I bought, and I just love that little boutique. I think it's just, like, the cutest stuff. My red lights on i'm gonna plug this in and i'll catch you guys in the morning it's 1 a.m i can't believe i'm up but i'm gonna wake up at 7 read and then i'm going to starbucks in the morning we have a fun day tomorrow okay see you tomorrow